Many know about online dating sites like Match.com and eHarmony, but a new app called Tinder is proving to be popular with younger users. It takes a user's Facebook profile and connects them with other users in their area. From there, it takes both people to like each other to become a match and start talking. Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson isn't ashamed to say he's on it, and he does his best to take an objective look at the simple yet complex app. Brian. Debbie, it's true. I am. I'm at the point where I try not to take it too seriously. I've called it everything from stupid, fun, funny, shallow, but no matter what, I stay swiping. Love is in the air at Chico State University, but for those who haven't found it, they might be looking on Tinder. Junior frat boy Austin Schumacher isn't ruling out the possibility of not only finding a match on Tinder, but a soulmate. Though he admits guys use it to hook up, girls are usually looking for more. So I feel like it's kind of like clashing, but I mean at the same time it doesn't stop guys and it doesn't stop girls from going on it. It sure doesn't. A recent Time Magazine article says the app has added a million users in the past 60 days. Worldwide there are about 500 million swipes a day and Tinder says the total number of users, which it won't reveal, is split pretty evenly between men and women. But up on the sixth floor of Butte Hall, a Chico State sociology professor says it doesn't evenly favor men and women. Our research continually shows that, in fact, many college-age women are having sex to get the relationships, whereas guys are having sex because they want the sex. In that way, Dr. Gordon argues Tinder, what many see as a hookup app, favors the motivations of men. But there are obvious advantages for both sexes, too, she says. And then you don't have to have that awkward situation of trying to go up to people and getting denied. You're less likely to get rejected. I think that feels good for people, right? And you have to both have liked each other, swiped the right way, right, in order to even put together. So it decreases the risk of, of rejection, and I think that people makes people feel a lot more comfortable. Dr. Gordon also thinks it could be a safer way to meet people. If matches meet up, it's a public place, and there's presumably no booze. I think there's ways that it, it can help address a little bit of some of the problems we have at Chico State around alcohol consumption and drug use. But how often does meeting up happen for what many simply see as a game, a quick ego boost? Like a lot of a lot of times I feel like a lot of the conversations like lead nowhere. One question I had for Dr. Gordon was after being on Tinder for a full year, matching with 384 girls, why have I only met up with four? There's always someone else in the hopper. And if something better comes along, or something that I think might be better, then you go on the back burner, if at all. It's like shopping, right? I'm going to try this one on. Oh, don't like that. I'll do. Like, there's, it's a continual supply. And it's a continual supply, and that there's always more. That provides a lot of excitement in some lives that where people maybe aren't so content with their lives. Like if I were to go up to somebody, or somebody were to come up to me and they were not attractive, I'd swipe left or swipe right, you know. Not many people like our age are going to be signing up for eHarmony, but maybe, you know, they'll sign up for Tinder and meet a girl around the street. Oh, they get a new match, though. <laughs> She's pretty cute. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Which one is she? Oh, Bailey? Oh, we got time to school there. Austin Schumacher only has one complaint about Tinder. He wishes there was a back button. Maybe I'm a little bit of romantic. Wait, rewind. A romantic frat guy? Maybe I'm a little bit of romantic. Maybe I just was like, oh, I've just missed the chance of my life right there. Life's about opportunities. Taken, missed. But the thing about Tinder, there will always be another one. Now, as we all know, the Winter Games in Sochi are going on right now. What people may not know is Tinder is apparently all the rage among athletes there. For Action News Now, I'm Brian Johnson.